Welcome to Glitched, where we are covering all the news coming out of this year's E3. I'm Francisco Lozano. Microsoft started off their conference with a bang, revealing the final form of Project Scorpio as the Xbox One X, showing us a smaller console with a similar look to the Xbox One S, but it's not just a smaller console than its predecessor, it is the smallest Xbox to date. And in true E3 fashion, Xbox saved the console's pricing and release date for the end of the event. Then the game section began, featuring a lineup of new games headed to the Xbox, 42 of them being exclusives. The Forza Motorsports 7 team showed off their new game and brought a Porsche on stage. Are those in-game graphics? Some of the major games coming out include Assassin's Creed Origins getting its first official confirmation on the Xbox stage, and it looks freaking amazing. We also got to hear that the recently popular battle game Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is coming to Xbox later this year. Minecraft also announced cross-platform compatibility across mobile VR console, plus a 4K update and a super duper graphics pack that will be available to users on the console this fall. We also got to see the Crackdown 3 trailer, now starring Terry Crews, and well, it just shows how amazing he is. Oh, and the game looks pretty cool too. Ori and the Feels are back. Ori and the Will of the Wisps brought us a live piano performance and a trailer that really got me close to tears, which I'm pretty sure the game's gonna do once it comes out. Additional games mentioned with dates were Tacoma coming August 2nd, Cuphead coming September 29th, finally. Life is Strange Before the Storm with three episodes, the first of which coming August 31st. Shadow of War coming October 10th with an expanded Nemesis system. State of Decay 2 coming in spring of 18. Dragon Ball Fighter Z available in early 2018. Code Vein coming in 2018. And The Artful Escape, which said that it would be coming whenever it is quote, ready. In addition to those games, the following were shown without release dates. Metro Exodus, Deep Rack Galactic, The Darwin Project, Black Desert, The Last Night, Sea of Thieves, Super Lucky's Tale, Ashen, Unruly Heroes, Path of Exile, Battle Right, Observer, Surviving Mars, Fable Fortunes, Robocraft Infinity, Dunk Lords, Minion Masters, Forced to Duel, Brawl Out, Ooblitz, Dark and Light, Strange Brigade, Riverbond, Hello Neighbor, Shift, and Conan Exiles. After the game, a shocking announcement occurred. Backwards compatibility is expanding, bringing original Xbox games to the Xbox One family. And finally, we've got that one thing we've been waiting for since the start of the conference. The Xbox One X will be coming to stores on November 7th of this year and will cost $4.99, a number that Phil Spencer sounded a little bit sad about, which kind of makes sense, because at that price point, Microsoft is probably losing quite a bit of money. And then finally, Anthem, the new IP from BioWare, which was announced at yesterday's EA Presser, the link is down in the description below, was shown off in a trailer for the first time and it looks amazing. So far we know the player works on a team of freelancers and wears an exosuit in combat. The game itself looks great graphically and is coming out in 2018. And that was everything from Microsoft's press conference. Let us know what you thought about all those announcements in the comments down below. We're going to be covering all the news coming out of E3, so stay tuned and subscribe to stay up to date with all your gaming and tech news. This was Glitched, and I'll see you next time.